What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'll show you how to draw Tails 9 from Sonic Prime. Now we're gonna to begin today's lesson in the center of our page and draw a small oval for the nose. Let's start at the very top in the middle, go all the way around toward the side, and then back up towards the top. Now we're gonna to add a small highlight along the top of the nose. Start with a small oval, and it'll fill the bottom half of the nose in black. Now from here, we're going to work our way across the top of the muzzle. Let's start from the left side of the nose, curl this down, and then up. Let's line this up on the right. Down, and then back up. And I'll add some points of fur along the end. Let's start back on the left. It's going to round this out, and then come down. I'm just going to bend this in towards the side. Let's add another point. Coming out and then down. Bend that up and then in. Let's add one more point. Coming out and down with a short line. And then we'll work our way across the bottom of the chin. On the left, go up, bend that down towards the bottom. Let's round up the chin, go up towards the right. It's going to close off the bottom on the right side. Let's go back to the center just underneath the nose. Start with a point and we'll draw the mouth. Come down and up toward the left. Go back to the center, come down and then up towards the right. And we'll add a bracket on the corners of the mouth. Let's move back to the center, step down and add a curve. Bring down and up. Now we're going to place the eyes on top of the muzzle. Let's leave a gap in the center. Start on the left, curl this in, and then back out towards the top. Go over towards the right, and do the same thing. Now from the top of the eye, I'm just going to curl the brow, coming in and then up towards the middle. From these two points, curl the brow, going up and then out. Let's tuck the outside of the eye underneath the brow. Let's start on the left, we're going to step in, curve the eye going out, and then back in on top of the muzzle. Now we're going to pull the pupils towards the inside of the eye. Let's start from the top left, step in, curve this around, down towards the bottom, and then in towards the bottom of the eye. Let's trace the iris along the inside. So step in, just follow that same curve going all the way around, and then back up. Let's add a small highlight along the top of the eye, coming this around and then up with a half circle. And we'll fill the bottom of the pupils in black. Let's go all the way up to the top and add that hair. Let's leave a gap in the center, start over on the left, bend this around toward the left, go up and across towards the right. Now you want to add three points along the top. Start from this line, bend this back down, go back up and out, and bring this down and then in. Let's add one more point, going up and out, now it's going to pull this in and then down toward the center of the head. Now let's draw the outside of the head. Starting from the top left side, curl this out and then bend that down. Let's line this up over on the right side, go out and then down. Let's pull the head back in underneath the muzzle. Go down. Now from here we're going to draw the bottom edge of the ears. Let's start from the left side, from this point, bend this out, and go up towards the top. Let's add a point along the top of the ear, come down in with a short line, go back up and out. Now 
Now on the left side, we're just gonna bend the ear coming in and then down on top of the head. Let's do the same thing on the right. Coming in and then bend that down. Let's trace both ears along the inside. Starting from the inside of the ear on the left, step in, curl this up, bend that out, and then we'll trace the outside, just following that same curve. Now that we complete the head, let's move down and draw the side of the body. Let's start on the left side, just underneath the head, curve the body going out, and then down towards the hip. Let's line this up on the right, out, and then down towards the same height. From the hip, draw a straight angle line coming down and in. And we'll pull this up and in towards the center of the body. Now from this point, we go all the way up towards the top, and we'll just up and out to the left and right side. Now we'll add a trim along the inside. On the top left, let's step out, come down and in towards the middle. Do the same thing on the right. I'm going to follow this all the way down towards the bottom. And we'll trace out the bottom of the body. Come down and then up. Let's add a circle in the middle. Let's continue working our way down towards the bottom of the feet. From the bottom of that circle, let's step down and add a curve, going up and then down. Let's leave a small gap in the center, go to the left, and let's down out towards the left side, move over towards the right, and do the same thing. Let's round out the bottom of the shorts, we go out, and then bend that up towards the side. And then from the hip, draw a straight angle line coming down towards the outside of the shorts. Now you want to tuck the legs in underneath the shorts. From the inside corner, let's step out, draw two straight angled lines coming down towards the ankles. Just round up the ankle. And then pull that back up underneath the shorts. Let's wrap a thick cuff around the ankle. On the left side, we'll step up, curve around, and then in. Go to the inside and curve in the opposite direction. Let's add another fold along the bottom. Stepping out towards the left, curve all the way across the bottom, and then back in. From the inside of the cuff, let's curve the heel. Coming in down towards the bottom of the feet, and then we'll round out the bottom of the feet. Let's start with the left. Come down, and then bend that up. Let's go back over towards the left side and draw the top of the foot. We go up, round out the foot, come in towards the cuff, and then bend that down. Let's add that thick sole across the bottom of the feet. You want to take this curve, step up, and just trace that across on both sides. Let's separate the toe, starting from the top of the foot, curve in, and then down towards the sole. We're also going to separate the heel, starting from the top, come in, and then down. Let's go back up to the top and draw in the sleeve. We start halfway down the side of the body, curve the arm going out and then up. Let's line this up on the right side. And then from the outside of the sleeve, then this up and in underneath the head. Let's add a trim along the bottom. So we'll step up and just follow that same curve. Now let's draw the inside of the arm. From the inside of the sleeve, then the arm going out, and then down towards the cuff. Now I want to overlap the hands on top of the arms. From the bottom of the arm, we step in, curve this up, and then out. Let's line this up on the right. 
Let's take this curve, step out, and draw that again, going up underneath the sleeves. Now from the inside of the cuff, we're going to draw the thumb with a half circle coming in and then out. And a bracket on the end. Now you want to add three fingers on either side. Let's start from the bottom curve of the thumb and come down and up around that bracket. Step down for the second finger, going out and then up. And then the third finger, we just want to pull this up towards the outside of the wrist. Let's do the same thing on the right. Let's add a strap across the bottom of the arm with a curve. And I'll add a small detail across the top of the hand. We'll start from the outside, then it's in towards the thumb, flatten off the inside, and then it's back out towards the side. Now with the body in place, let's add two tails going out towards the side. We'll start from the left hip, start by curving this out in behind the hand, go to the outside, continue that curve going up towards the end of the tail. Now you want to do the same thing on the right, going in behind the hand, then going up towards the same height. Let's add a few points on the end of the tail. Start by coming down and in, then it's out and up. Let's add another point, all the way down and then in. Let's go out towards the side. Then the bottom of the tail coming all the way around, underneath the hand, and just pull that up towards the side of the leg. Let's separate the end of the tail, starting from the bottom, then it's up and out, come back down and in. Now you want to repeat this all the way up towards the top of the tail, just adding these curves. And we'll do the same thing on the right. Starting from the bottom, start with that curve going up and out, and come in. Then again, just repeating this all the way up towards the top. And now we're going to place those mechanical tails in behind. Let's start with the first layer. Starting beside the body, go up and out in behind the arm, continue on the outside, and do the same thing on the right. Now we just want to round up the top and just pull that back in behind the hands. And I'm bend these tails coming back up and in. So let's leave a gap, start with a curve, and then from the side, straight up and out. And we'll connect the top with another curve, going up and then down. Let's take that, flip it over on the right. Start with a curve along the bottom. Just angle this up towards the top and round up the top. Let's do that one more time. Starting on the left, we're going to step up, curve this down and in. Now you want to go straight up along the sides and then round up the top. Do the same thing on the right. Start at the bottom, go up along the side, and we'll close it off. Now you want to connect each of these sections with two lines. Let's start with the top, angle this down and in, come down, and do that again, and do the same thing on the right side. Let's add a point along the top, starting from the inside, then it's up and in, taper this out and then down towards the outside. Let's add another set in behind the front tail. Let's start from the outside, angle it up and out, round up the top, and then come back in towards the outside of the tail. Let's do the same thing on the right. Going up, curving the top, and then coming back down. And I'll add that point. Going up and in, and then bend towards the outside. Let's add another set along the bottom. Let's start from the bottom curve, angle this 
down and out. Curl the outside and up underneath the tail. Now we're going to leave a gap. Let's curve the inside. And then from the top and bottom, go straight out. And then curve the outside. Let's do the same thing on the right. Let's connect these two sections with two lines. And then we'll add that point. Out and up. And come down and in. Now I'm going to add one more tail on the left side. Let's start from the side of the leg. Come down. Round out the bottom. And then go back. Let's leave a gap and add another section. Just rounding up the inside. And it's down and out. And curve the outside. Let's connect these two sections, two lines. And we'll add that hook. Going out and up. And then that back in. Now I'm going to go back and add a small circle for the hinge along the top of each section. Let's start on the left. down and then on the outside. Now let's do the same thing on the right. Starting from the top and just work our way down. Let's finish off by signing our art and adding a splash of color, and that's pretty much it. That's how we draw Tails 9 from Sonic Prime. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson, and if you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your request in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.